Hello everyone! This time, Brian and I went to the craziest cafes in Tokyo and trust me, Tokyo is a crazy city. So we chose three cafes that we thought were the funniest, the most colorful, interesting or strange. We filmed everything. So I'll take you guys along. Let's get started! One of the craziest cafes in Tokyo, maybe the most famous, in Harajuku. A lot of YouTubers have been there already, so I'm not the first, not that original, but oh well, it's my channel, I wanted to do that! Let's talk about food now. Rainbow cake for Brian, cat food for me, and then the drinks. If you want high quality food, um, I mean, don't come to Kawaii Monsters Cafe, but overall their desserts were good. If you're wondering what cat food was, it was pretty much a big bowl of ice cream with cereal. Overall, super sweet, but it was good and it was surprisingly filling. We were full and we didn't want to eat anything sweet for the whole day. And these are the times when it's good to have Sonia as a girlfriend because I know she'll finish it for me. I don't like food to go to waste. So I heard the men's bathroom is very cool. So if Sonia can't come, but I'll take you to the men's bathroom. Let's go. Let's go. Here we are. Really, Brian? Is this what you filmed? I didn't know you filmed this, guys. I'm sorry, I just turned the volume down because I know it's gross. But, baby boy, you wanted this shot? I enjoyed that. There you go. One more thing is that like every 90 minutes they have a show. And it's a very interactive show. And you have to dance with them. As you can see, I think I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the one one dance. Yeah. I don't think Brian knew what he was doing, but um, okay. I hope the video was good enough so that you have an idea of how unique Kawaii Monsters Cafe is. Honestly, yeah, cool. I don't think I would go there again though. Next. Let me talk about this a little bit because it's really not my favorite but in Tokyo, pet cafes or just like animal cafes are so popular An animal cafe is like a cafe where you can pet or see or interact with different animals Here they have pet cafes for almost every imaginable animal of course, they have the normal cafes like cat, bunny, puppy, but they also have like hedgehog cafes, owl cafes, goat do we want to talk about goat cafes where you go there and you pet the goat? I am not a big fan of animal cafes. I think animals should be free. They should have a home, not a million people just touching you and that, that, that's stressful. But I cannot deny that animal cafes are a big thing in Tokyo. I thought that this video wouldn't be complete without an animal cafe. So I sat down with Brian. We thought, what are some animals that are okay even at a cafe? cat cafe would be maybe okay, I think, I don't really know. But yeah, we went to a cat cafe, here we go. 
You must know that I am not a cat person. I'm sorry, people who love cats, I am not a cat person. But you know what? Brian is a super cat person. I'll try to film Brian more than me so that you can see his little eyes becoming full of no. happiness and love. Plus, I'm allergic. See? Before they let us in, they gave us this pamphlet that explained a little bit about the fees and there were a couple of rules we had to follow, mainly for the cats, like don't pet the cat if you visibly see that it doesn't want to be petted, etc. I don't know how to relate to cats. I don't know if I should pet them. I don't know if I should just observe them. Oh my god, that cat is like a Christmas cult. I'm not sure about the cats, but this place is really nice. I don't like cats that seem smart. Like that guy seems kind of like sassy. <laughs> It's a good toy. Just show it. Just try to get him to touch it. Looks like a wiener dog. It's a wiener cat. I want no one here so we get all the cats to ourselves. Go for that guy. Rejected. How do you pet cats? Sonia is feeling rejected. She has a chance right now. He likes you. Sonia has a new friend. What's his name? <laughs> Here at Mocha Cafe, you must get a drink. It's all you can drink. They have vending machines and it costs. 350 yen. I think it was too small for him. He's a fat cat. <laughs> Be yourself. Guys, I think the allergy is starting to kick in because the back of my mouth itches. I don't know if you ever do that, like you try to scratch your throat with your tongue. I like the place, like I like those big windows and the tree in the middle. It was like a Roman amphitheater. Chill. Plus, maybe I'm not a huge cat lover, but place was chill. For the third crazy cafe, I thought about something a little more relaxing. If you don't want to go to the crazy and loud Kawaii Masters Cafe or even the cat cafe with all the cats jumping around and a lot of people, people taking pictures and stuff. I thought about a really unique place. I don't want to say hipster, but like more relaxed. We went to this latte art cafe that is maybe the most famous in Tokyo. They make some amazing latte art. Let's get to it. It's very cozy. It reminds me of the dining room or a living room of a house. They have a lunch menu and the best part. Oh my god. This is so cute. The Shiba. Oh my god, the Shiba. I don't know what to choose. They're all so cute. It looks like a real Shiba. Let's choose. I ordered the vanilla cafe latte with Mr. Shiba Inu. Ryan ordered caramel cafe latte with like a bear in the in the mug. It has arrived. <laughs> it's so cute. Hi, Mr. Bear. I'll eat you. My Shiba has arrived, but he's not super cute. I think Brian's bear is way cuter. 
with that little butt. It doesn't matter. I will love you the same. In Italy, we say something. We say ogni scarrafone è bello mamma sua. You know what it means? It means that even if you're ugly, your mom will always see that you're beautiful. What should I eat first? I would go with the belly. <laughs> it's really good, it's really tasty. It reminds me of Starbucks a little bit, but like homemade Starbucks. Homemade? This place made Starbucks. My favorite part of a cappuccino or a cafe latte is the foam. And here I had so much. Triple of my favorite part of a cappuccino. Perfect. latte art I've ever had wasn't it cute I loved it maybe it was my favorite out of the three crazy cafes I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that it's useful if you're coming to Tokyo for a trip and you need to only pick one maybe now you have a better idea where to go leave a comment below and subscribe thank you for watching Guys, also, one more thing, don't forget the giveaway. If you want to see a few things that I will send, check this video here and use the link below to enter your name in the giveaway by December 10th. That's all. Bye.